let's now look at how we can add in uh, integer representation for each of these enum values. Uh, for example, I want to say one is winter and I would want to call two is spring, uh, three is summer and four is fall. Uh, let, let's say in my database I have values one, two, three, four representing winter, spring, summer and fall. How do I use that and how do I create enums for that? That's basically what we'll look at now. Um, now I'll go ahead and like the way you would add in the value is open bracket value and close brackets. That's a very simple. Uh, let's now like as soon as I create this, uh, enum expects us to have a constructor for that particular thing. So if you look at the error which you see on the screen, it says the constructor enum test dot season with a parameter int is not defined. So what we'll do now is go ahead and try and create a, a constructor with that. Uh, thing. So I'll create a constructor enum with int, what I call as code, like code for that particular season. Uh, I would want to store that to a local variable. I'll slowly uh, get to that. This dot code is equal to code. Uh, I don't have the code variable right now, so it gives me a compilation error. Let's go ahead and create the code variable now private int code and I'll also create a constructor for this so a getter for this I don't want to create a setter because I would want the code to be set uh, when it's created so I would only create the getter for this uh, always remember to end the list of values with a semicolon so that's step one and then I can go ahead and uh, add in the stuff that I would need to add in. Let me just format it a bit. Uh, now we have a syntax, right? So now I have a code variable which can be used to create a season and then I can do season.get code to get that value. A small test again. Um, let's call it public void uh, test getting code. So I just want to create a variable and check whether I'm able to get the code of it properly. That's basically all that I would want to test. Um, so assert equals, um, let me create the season first, season winter is equal to season dot winter. So what do I want to do now? I want to get winter dot get code. What should be the value for get code for winter? should be one so let's check if we get one back when i do a get code for winter uh, i'll run the test also right click run as junit test uh, okay. let's go ahead and save it okay that's good so now we are able to create a test from uh, sorry we are able to get the code from the enum now let's try and do the reverse what do we what we want to do is to create an enum out of uh, the code. So let's test creating enum for code from code. That's basically what we want to do. And what I want to be able to do is say season dot value of I want to say one. That's the code, and I would want to be able to assert uh that the winter is equal to season dot winter so what we are trying to do here is actually trying to create uh, a season by using the value of function and passing in a parameter that is equal to the code here one is the code for winter so i would want to pass in season dot value of one and i would want to get the appropriate winter back so let's now go ahead and create that function what which uh, enables us to do that so I'll create the function uh, it's public it has to be static because it's going to be used on the season class itself and value of int i that's good so what I'll do here is the logic is very simple I would loop around the enum and as soon as I find the right season for it I would return it back so what I would do is for season season uh, I do season dot 
values um, what I'll do is if uh, season dot get code like the code of that particular season matches with the code that is passed in I would want to rename this variable I would better call this code so if season dot get code is equal to code what I would want to do is return the season value back so I would want to return this season back and here I would uh, just say a new runtime exception just to say uh, value not found so invalid value um, just something to say if it doesn't match I can't return it I would actually so that's what I would want to do so now we have a value of function and let's now see if we are able to create the enum for code right test that's success and if I now pass in something like let's say 3 let's now just check that up uh, season dot uh, 3 is winter uh, let's check what 3 is 3 is summer so I would want to see the value summer shift x t that's good so uh, now we have a way of how to create a value or uh, like how to create an enum using a value also so we have seen uh, how we can create an enum using a string value how we can use uh, create an enum using a, a like uh, a value which we assign and let's now uh, see uh, how we can even use a switch around enums that's one of the important things about enum that you can use a switch around the enum so uh, just for kicks i would want to uh, get the maximum temperature um, in a particular uh, Okay, let's see. Test get max temperature in a season. Um, let's take a wild guess. Uh, let's say the maximum temperature uh, in winter uh, is usually let's say uh, temperature. Or it should not be it's not a get because I'm going to calculate this based on the switch so I'll say calculate calculate max temperature and uh, the value I would say winter maximum temperature is 5 um, I would similarly let's uh, assume for fall and spring maximum temperature is 10 and for uh, summer let's say the maximum temperature is uh, 20 let's create a method which does that so create method uh, I would want to return uh, integer back temperature can't be more than 100 um, now let's uh, return something back let's say return minus 1 just make compiler happy uh, that's good now let, let's see how to do a switch so switch around the enum is also very simple it's as simple as switch this switch this um, what I would want to be able to do is um, on switch of this uh, if it's case winter I would want to return uh, maximum temperature of winter 5 case summer uh, return 20 is fall or uh, also say spring I would want to return 10 then just a sample values let me format this and let's hit this one okay that works that's really good so that's basically uh, all that you'd want to learn about Ena. We are creating more videos as we speak and if you want to stay updated don't forget to click the subscribe button if you like this video please give a thumbs up and feel free to share this video thanks for watching until next time